So your organization wants to make a difference? Can it? Is everything ship shape? Let's have a look at good governance. If your organization was a ship, the leader would be captain and the board would be the navigator. Governance is the running and oversight of your organization by your governing body or board. Good governance in your organization cultivates confidence and is an attractive feature to potential donors. Your governing body varies according to the legal structure of your organization. A voluntary association will have a committee, a trust will have a board of trustees, and a non-profit company will have directors. The board appoints the leader and monitors the activities of your organization. Evaluating financial, legal, ethical and performance issues while accepting fiduciary responsibility. The board gives direction on aspects like vision, policy, strategy and advancement in fundraising, monitoring performance and responsible spending. But for many non-profits, governance can be a real challenge. Finding board members with the right skills, who are willing to volunteer their time, is not so easy. And volunteer board members may have other interests they put first. Here's how it works. Be it weathering storms of financial difficulty, or navigating the choppy waters of public relations, your board needs the qualities and skills to guide your organization in the right direction. So, when looking at potential board members, who has the right skills and qualities? Who shares your values, is committed, has the time, and is not serving on too many other boards? Through research, you will know your candidate's skills and qualifications, community involvement, and previous board experience. Building a relationship with potential new board members takes time. Engage with potential board members to see if they're interested in joining your board. Invite them to organizational events or meetings. And finally, bring them on board. Your board structure could look like this. The chairperson oversees board affairs and chairs meetings. The secretary gives notice of board meetings, prepares agendas and materials and takes minutes. The treasurer monitors board and organizational finances. The leader could also take a seat on the board. Clarity around roles and responsibilities is essential for a smooth working relationship. The leader directs and the board governs. That's a basic introduction to good governance, but how is it maintained? These are the building blocks for good governance. Clarify roles and responsibilities. Use all resources to communicate new developments to the board. Encourage them to donate money and advocate on behalf of your NPO. Hold regular meetings. Objections to board decisions should be openly debated. Respond to environmental and legal developments by reviewing your vision, mission and policies regularly. What will sink your ship? An ex-leader on board. Assuming new board members know their duties. Giving the leader too much board responsibility. Too many meetings, meddling in daily operations. Letting them say anything that could reflect badly on your organization. This could set your organization off course. But follow these guidelines to good governance and you will be sure to stay afloat.